I'm not sure if my left mic is on. What a gorgeous evening. Uh, it, it's pretty clear that they were they came specially for me. People do it all the time, like the lady the other day that drove out of you know just to bring me twenty bucks. But this for a little while there, a half hour passed by like it was a minute because the husband, his husband, wife, and beautiful daughter, beautiful people, Hindus, English. One of the things I like about Hindus is they're very rapid communicators, whether in their native language or if they raised like these people were obviously as English speakers. And he's a chemical engineer and she's a biochemical biochemist. So yeah, it was great. It was awesome to be in my milieu with people that understand every freaking word that I'm saying, that I don't have to limit my vocabulary and tailor it for like the hobo crowd. And I transferred more knowledge. I even he very quickly remember. And it was just awesome. He could tell that I'm firing on all solars. I'm an old man. But I know a ton of shit that he does not know yet. He's a chemical engineer. She's a biomedical researcher that can confirm what I told him. These are people, you know, to get to that PhD, they're both PhDs. To get to that PhD level, uh, it requires tremendous memory, something that I've always had. And, and I gave him the generic term to begin the search and stuff like that. And gave him good advice in parting and especially on the all sorts of things very quickly explained a lot to him that you know that they have, will have no trouble confirming that's what I do I'm a teacher my people call me Rebbe that's what Rebbe means great teacher if you're really smart I can transmit a lot of knowledge to you very quickly. I don't go around like some spoiled brat rich kid who never worked in, in his life, pretty sure wasn't in the army or anything, you know, and been really apparently living off his family, a complete fake and liar, and shit that y'all are just looking at his ass crack and stuff. And then I come up here, two hardworking people who made it into this country are thriving between the two of them. I'd say their absolute minimum. Yeah, if he's if he's a chemical engineer and and semiconductors, and she's a biomedical researcher, because we have a major DNA. This, I'm sorry, I noticed in one of my earlier videos I had a little booger right there. It was they've got to have a minimum <coughs> combined income, but now by now it's probably probably pretty close to between the two of them eight hundred thousand dollars a year these are not broke ass people they came to offer me in the classic fashion to the old wise men of the way they do in their culture and i tried to explain to them because ideally in their culture when someone brings you especially fresh fruit and cookies you're supposed to eat it and enjoy it in front of them to give them the pleasure of them giving something to you. But I had to explain why I rejected his kind offers and gifts. They had brought me gifts specifically for me. And he, see, that's, I have 2,000, told you before, regular viewers. I, you don't have to subscribe to be a regular viewer. It's so easy. It's, but it was so lovely to get to, you know, I've had a fatiguing day, you know, taking down. I've, it's now getting into the hundreds of channels that no longer exist because they threatened me. And shit, it's, there's a whole bunch of you. Yes, some of them only, you know, use their troll accounts, but a lot of them are using their real accounts. 
and stuff, that's okay. They'll make another one. But there's hundreds of channels just in the last few days. But that was just so awesome to speak to somebody that can understand. Have you ever listened to Hindu people? They have a little trouble with uh, the diphthongs in English. But man, they can do that consonant, vowel, comedy, rapid fire and stuff like that. I mean, just, it was so lovely. It really was. It's like the perfect temperature. Lovely evening. It's relatively calm and quiet. Very little. And uh, it was just, the only thing that really ended it was that Eventually, the little girl, she was probably five or six, you know, she was probably was indicating to mommy that, you know, that she had to go, you know, uh, you know TT or something. Lovely people, physically attractive, intellectually attractive. And I've been dealing with these hordes of people that are not only appearance challenged they're also mentally uh, special and not in a good way <clears throat> I'm a patient man I am a great teacher if you've managed to get to graduate high school with something better than a D, then I can teach you. It just takes me longer. It's kind of like speaking Spanish or Russian. It takes more syllables and more words for me to convey the same amount of information. Don't call me racist or shit like that. These are linguistic facts. I really can't handle people that are strictly uneducated and ignorant. They don't want to learn. They want to create their own reality that like somehow a thieving, lazy, rich kid is somehow some kind of a, you know, a criminal is somehow a hero. Technically, Leander, I've already told you that. Go and uh, look it up in my vast catalog of videos here. But I'm just making this rather brief to let you know that out of a day of fucking the lady bringing me the bag of junk and then uh, Curtis, what's his name, Wyman and stuff, and then all the you know, the eclipse and all the other kind of shit, you know, and then all the, then the rain and stuff. It's, at the end of the day, I had a bright moment where I'm well lit. It was quiet enough, except there was one motorcycle where I had to tell him that, wait a second, that's actually when I pulled that. See, this is a restart. I, it started in, I think it did, and then realized I had my right earphone out. But, it's so good to communicate with people who have a vocabulary somewhere close to mine. Marilyn Lewis always called it from the time I was a teenager. Said that I had to not only both hear her and her husband, this is my high school wife, a coach and his wife that I live with. I've lived with them for two years. They always said you had to get, I had that gift of gab. And, and that I always had a million dollar vocabulary by the time I was a teenager. It, I was always pretty good at selecting my words. It would be a word that I really hadn't studied much and I'd use it in my compositions, in my statements, in my conversations. No one, I was pretty sure I was right and almost never wrong. Some of you people use words that you don't even have a 
clue what it means. You use them incorrectly. Your communication is so low context. There's so little information in what you're saying that it's really not worth any intelligent person's time to listen to your babblings. You know, if you run into an intelligent person, it's best sometimes to just keep your mouth shut and try to learn instead of trying to be argumentative and talk over a person and try to tell them they're wrong when I can prove in a court of law that what I say is true and legally irrefutable, that it's not moot. Most of you misuse the word moot when you try to be all, and you talk about law when you have absolutely no connection to the law or other. And I've never had any formal training in law. I just read and figure things out and I can write really well. well it's just trying to tell you is that actually I have a lot of fans around here and stuff. There are all kind of people and the, the ones that are my biggest fans, they all have like, you know, at least a bachelor's or, you know, graduate degrees and stuff. You know, if you're not very well educated or self-educated, it's still the same thing. We're unlikely to click because so that's it I was it was just so pleasant because he would only briefly interject to kind of uh, to to get me pointed more towards where he but I pretty much delivered a about a 35 minute lecture at hypomanic speeds kind of in the nature that Hindu people, the Hindis, their speech, the speed is what we would call in psychology, hypomanic, not maniac, hypomanic, very rapid delivery. <clears throat> There's nothing wrong with that. As long as you're intelligent or whatever, it's, it was just so pleasant. I wanted to make note of it here. If they're regular viewers, you really brighten my day as compared to the black lady with a bag of trash that I just got you putting in the trash. Or Curtis, the Wyman, one of the IBM's top uh, uh, software, or I'm sorry, code testers. He's working for a company run by a Hindu that's trying to get rid of uh, light-skinned Caucasians for, you know, political reasons. He says there's too many of us and stuff. And even he knows his job is probably on the line. He could be easily replaced because if you don't if you start pushing for a raise, you'll get replaced by somebody younger that they can pay a lot less. That's the way it goes. That was so pleasant. I haven't been, it's been a while since I had any PhD, let alone two. And then it's been a good long while since I had that cluster of four out here one day, and especially that smoking hot Chinese woman. Oh man. Who I was also teaching some Mexican uh, slang and phraseology and uh, dialect to and shit. And it's, I love being around people that are very intelligent. Hell, even stupid people 
Well, some stupid people love being around intelligent people. But stupid people who think that they're geniuses hate us and want to kill us. Simple as that. That's all I have to say. That's all I have today. Simply read. You see, I can tell. I can see the adoration in the man's eyes. And her eyes just awe because she knew what I was. She could understand the biochemical terms. I've actually had plenty of. The only time in life that I really enjoyed having fans was at the height of my self-publication of my science here, Channel 16. Austin covers this whole region, more than a million people. Uh, I was way up there in the Nielsen's when Alex Jones was at the bottom, 150 and stuff. Uh, the adoration of the young people particularly like the UT students and stuff like that was just really, it makes all the, the work. I would have still done the work with or without it, but to get it without going out and seeking it, that's when it really is great. Have people, you know, being going down the main drag at UT People honking and, going, hey, hey, Kent, get back. Hey, Professor. I know what it's like to be truly adored for not only my body, my beautiful athletic body that used to exist, and for a beautiful mind. And I intended that as a joke regarding the Nobel Prize winner who went schizophrenic from his methamphetamine use as a student. You know, eventually, but eventually. He's the guy who created game theory, which all of our diplomacy, politics, and business negotiations and other stuff now revolves around. That's what they gave him the Nobel Prize for. Watch the movie, A Beautiful Mind. But unlike him, I'm not a speed freak, never was, never went schizophrenic. He lived a, he had a horrible tortured life because he, like m most college students at that time, were heavy users, abusers of amphetamines, just like fucking Hitler and Sigmund Freud and well, Freud was a cocaine freak. Anyway, that's it. How about 18 minutes and 18 seconds? Get a couple. I want to thank the couple for dropping by and trying to bring me what they thought was the finest food available. But they noticed that I had a biochemical uh, rejection because those apples definitely contain a super potent antioxidant that humans don't need. That That's for the plant's benefit. Humans make their own antioxidants. Later, stick around. You might learn something. You might learn a bit that, you know, there are people out there that pretend to go around being the king of the hobos and stuff when they're actually rich, spoiled brats who never worked a day in their life. Stick around. You know, it only took me a few minutes to figure out that he was fake. Right off the bat, too clean. I told you in my analysis. And remember, he reached out and touched me. He's the one that initiated the links and the algorithms and shit. I did a cold-blooded, you know, you know, unemotional analysis. And it turns out my conclusions on what was only about an hour of viewing was correct. Swole brat, rich kid, Asperger's, objectophilia. I said, oh, that's true. And it's going to come out pretty soon that he probably was not a veteran. He probably got a discharge from the army. He didn't quit. He probably got a 
less, what is the term, is like less than honorable or something like that, medical. Frequently they'll do it, you know, if they turn out to be alcoholics, they'll give them a medical discharge and shit. Just to keep from fucking up their life with a dishonorable discharge. Later. And this, to me, felt like it took forever. That 35 minutes with two PhDs went by in like a minute. Yeah, I can remember everything we said and done. As we learn, we are obliged to teach. If you have life-saving knowledge like me, and you withhold it for outrageous profit, you're a fucking sociopath that's really no different than Elmer Wayne Henley, Mark Nichols, or any of the other, Jeffrey Dahmer, really. You know, most medical doctors and stuff like that, I hold you in that same category. Yeah. Yeah. Of sociopathy, because you care more about, you know, your legal protections. You know, co doctors. You ever seen a doctor that got a speeding ticket? All he's got to do is tell that cop, "Is I have a patient in the hospital," and it, the cop will go, "You need an escort," and the doctor goes, "No, I don't need one." Doctor can be hammered drunk and doing 100 miles an hour, and a cop will let him go. As soon as he sees the doctor on his driver, because they are allowed to put doctor on their fucking driver's license. Two because that is. And if not, they have a medical ID that says MD on it. <clears throat> Many people have underestimated me especially in certain countries and they are no longer breathing and well, a lot of them haven't been breathing for decades later I just wanted to share a moment of joy of meeting two real human beings that are contributing to this planet and not just taking. Y'all have a good evening. May God bless and hopefully protect you from my next video <laughs> later.